guys and welcome back to this life of mine today i'm sharing cleaning our whole apartment christmas is over so i'm sharing taking down our christmas tree which i would like to add that this is my first time in my whole life taking down a tree it was very messy but honey i'm glad we got it done so we have celebrated birthdays christmas and new years it's been pretty busy for us and even though i'm sharing positive feedback about our break we've also had to take some time for our mental health I've mentioned some things before, but not necessarily everything. So I did share over on my Instagram and here on YouTube in my community post that Jonah did just recently have a birthday. He turned three years old, so we celebrated that as well. I didn't share Jonah's birthday here on my YouTube channel, and the reason for that is because I didn't get the chance to share London's or Jaden's. However, I did try to share a picture of London's birthday party. If you guys saw any of the pictures over on my Instagram for Jonah for his birthday, I tried to be all inclusive and share pictures from all of the kids birthdays since we didn't get to share any birthdays here on our YouTube channel but we still had so much fun I know I have mentioned before that starting in July of every year we're usually super busy up until about January 10th and we can't pump the brakes at all we have birthdays wedding anniversaries national holidays the kids starting a new semester and now we're adding death anniversaries I think is what you would call it to the more busier months of the year and it's a lot but on a slider note, I would like to add to, for all of my new subscribers, all of the kids, including myself and Jaquan, we all have birthdays in the mix of this back to back each month. So we just celebrate everything as it comes. This year we did things a bit different we kept our christmas decor up a little bit longer for our babies we usually take down the christmas decor and deep clean our space completely before the new year jake one takes down the tree and we clean it's a tradition in our families to do that but this year like i said we did it different we cleaned our space but kept the christmas decor up we took it easy and we were still able to manage mostly everything so i am super excited to be taking you guys along with me today as i undecorate our apartment for christmas and also just clean as i go and try to attack the mess and in every single room including the bathrooms today if you're new here and enjoy videos such as this welcome i'm Ventasia and would love for you to join this life of mine i am a mama to three babies and married to my junior high sweetheart jaquin we live in oklahoma and have been for three years we got our start here when we packed our honda civic full of our things and we set off with a toddler and a newborn baby we made it to Oklahoma and as I said it's been three years going on four now and it's just been a journey. We've had highs, lows and everything in between. I say that to say this year has been a hell of a year all the way down to losing not one but two grandmas back to back. My great grandma and her daughter my grandma. I've even had a time or two or three in 2021 where I spent time in a mental health facility. It's a story for another day, but I try to share as much motivation as I can, not only to motivate you, but let you know I'm in this with you no matter what. On this night, I got started after we had been out ripping and running all day, trying to get some last minute errands done before the temperature completely dropped. We were able to grab a few things from the store that you guys saw me put away. And after I cleaned the dining room, I made fried chicken, potatoes, and okra. The next day I made chicken and dumplings. The last time I made it, I only got a few servings of it and it was gone. So I wanted to make more of it and it actually ended up working out because Jaquan wasn't feeling the best and the next day he felt like he was getting sick. And then I wanted to give myself a break and just reflect on a few situations without having to pressure myself with working, cooking, and trying to do it all. Between tonight's dinner and also making chicken and dumplings the next day, I didn't have to cook after that because we just had all the leftovers that we could eat and it was actually really, really good. We still have some more and I'm gonna make some chicken and dumplings as soon as I get done with this video it doesn't even matter how hard I try Cause when I hear your voice, my walls come down Boy, you are the only thing I want Tonight, you guys aren't gonna see me run the dishwasher because it was pretty full from the previous days and on top of that, we had been ripping and running and we forgot to run the dishwasher. So all the dishes that we had after dinner, I just went ahead and washed those by hand, let them dry, and then we went ahead and moved on.
So here today I am just using our Thieves Household Cleaner just to wipe down all of our surfaces. This is what I love to use especially whenever I am doing speed cleans throughout our home just to get everything back in order to how it should be. Of course I love to use Dawn Power Wash or sometimes even just regular Dawn and clean as well but I always go back to my Thieves because it's what I love using. Today I have just mixed in some orange essential oils along with a few extra drops of Thieves because you can never go wrong with just helping out your immune system, especially during times like this. From the first time I saw ya, you were not like the others, a cool kind of melody. You rattled my cage without warning, kept it up right till the morning, a new kind of ecstasy. You found a different side of me, the one I'd like to be, a different side of me, yeah. Like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah. No stop signs, counting down till we take flight. It's how you make me feel. Yeah, yeah. Let's call in sick and be lazy. I'm all for doing what's crazy. Cause you make it real, yeah. You found a different side of me. The one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah. So as you guys know, I have been using this wooden dish rack for seriously years now and I have loved every single moment of it, don't get me wrong, but with the new year and just I've been searching on Amazon trying to find like some new Amazon home finds and I have completely fallen in love with like a completely different type of dish rack. I think it's what I think it's what you would call it you guys i don't know but i have fallen in love with a pegboard and if you don't know what that is it is something similar to a dish rack but basically i would place it above my kitchen sink and i can store anything like utensils towels cup bowls anything like that up there and it is out of the way it's not on our countertop so i have been looking into getting me one of those and i don't know maybe even a surprise for you guys too so i'm super excited because i've been using this dish rack for years and now like i'm finally going to switch it up for the new year and I am just so happy because I don't know I love getting new things and even though I love this dish rack I don't always like the thoughts and the memories and things like that that are tagged along with this dish rack so I'm super excited to be switching things up and just doing something that is just different for myself I'm excited about this pegboard because if I get it I'm thinking about like adding like some color to it with our Cricut machine and I'm so excited for this project so stay tuned for that you found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah
Anytime I am cleaning or just trying to get our house back in order after we've been busy, I always like to take my time to wipe down any walls and any cabinets that we have because we always have so many nicks, fingerprints, just everything on our cabinet. So I like to keep this done. I know you guys can't always see it up close, but I promise you with three babies, listen, fingerprints are everywhere. You guys can see it sometimes whenever they walk through the scene, they rub their hands all over the walls. So I like to make sure not only whenever we're sick or we have a lot of things going on, but just whenever I'm cleaning and trying to get things in order in general, I like to give this a quick wipe down too. <laughs> But I know you see me too Everybody singing oh Everybody singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to We got nothing to lose You're looking so old You're looking so old Now I'm moving closer to you And it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you want to do So here in our dining room, we have switched things up a bit. We added a dining room table and I did share that with you guys. In a video, I shared a clean and decorate of our downstairs where we received our dining room table and our living room rug. I was so happy then and I am still so excited about it now and I'm gonna be sharing why I'm excited with you guys here in just a bit. I wanted to share with you guys a new plant that I got. Whenever Jake and I went to Lowe's to get our new Christmas storage bag, I ended up seeing the perfect plant for our dining room table and I absolutely fell in love with it. Now, please keep in mind you guys, I have been on the search for my very own vine plant of my own for literally over a year now. Honestly, since my mama gave me my very first vine plant that she gave me over a year ago, but it didn't work out, you know, it didn't survive, not because of me, but it didn't survive. But after I got out of the mental health facility the first time, my mama, she ended up giving me a new vine so I can start a hobby and really just blow with the wind with that hobby, you guys. So she gave me a plant and her name is Patricia. And if you are a loyal subscriber, then you already know who Patricia is. But since then, I have added Priscilla. Jaden named her, you guys, not me. Jaden seriously chose the name Priscilla and I absolutely love it. 
but we went ahead and added Priscilla to the table and it is just such a cute ad because I absolutely love this table which I do want to talk and just say a few things about because I've gotten so many questions over on Instagram asking me about the sturdiness of this table and if I really do enjoy it aside from my sponsorship so I just want to talk about that because I know that I am not the only person that you guys see with this table but I am giving you guys my honest opinion and I thought I did that whenever I shared the table but I just want to go ahead and touch base on this one more time because I promise you guys I love this table for one as you guys can see it does fit two chairs now it is really close but I want you guys to keep in mind that our babies right now are very very small right now so they don't need a ton of space like us adults do Jake went on we are planning to get two chairs along with the new dining room buffet in the middle I'll share that in a different video however I just want to let you guys know that the sturdiness of this table I will rate it about a 9 out of 10. It is not a table that I would sit down and expect my family to play dominoes or spades at. However, it is a table that I would expect my family to sit down and have a nice dinner at and I wouldn't expect anybody to be doing anything too chaotic. So for us, I feel like this table is perfect. I absolutely love it. I don't want to get rid of it. And during this season of our life where we have two toddlers and also a young boy and also the fact, you know, the huge elephant in the room of us having to downsize within our living space I feel like this dining room table is perfect I do have a lot of plans when it comes to creating a buffet station in our dining room but that'll be a story in another video on a different day So here in our living room, of course, I'm going to be undecorating for Christmas, but I really wanted to go ahead and get this TV area clean and clear because we have two chairs that are actually our old bar stools that we have over here that I really don't want to be in this area. It has looked good and I really do love it, but I really want those chairs to be where the Christmas tree is at. And like I said, this is my first time ever in my life doing this y'all i didn't know what i was walking into and on top of that we have a flocked christmas tree it was a lot but i was so happy that we got it done so i want to ask you guys who all has taken down their christmas decor and who has not taken down their christmas decor over on my instagram my instagram friends have been sharing with me that they have not taken down their christmas decor because 2021 brought on so many different challenges that they have just been you know I'm just gonna put it off I'll wait I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait and I want to know if that's you too and I want to let you know that you are not alone we all had to face so many different challenges this year and I know that there are a lot of people who have already moved on to even Valentine's decorating but if you haven't undecorated for Christmas just know that everything is okay we're all taking things one day at a time and if you haven't undecorated who cares how I see it is the fact that you get to keep your Christmas decor up and I am seriously so happy. I love Christmas decor. So if you're one of those people, then let it be. Take it down when you're ready. And if that's today, then let's do it. I'm glad to be here with you as you tackle it all and get it done.
If you were not here to see all of our Christmas themed videos where we share crafting with the kids, prepping for Christmas, setting up the Christmas tree, doing decor for the kids, and I also even shared the kids open up Christmas presents on Christmas and a little bit of cleaning motivation. If you didn't see that video, I will make sure to have those videos linked down in my description box so you can check them out. If that is your first time watching any of those videos, I would love for you to drop a comment and let me know that you're there. I would love to get to know you guys down in the comments. So go ahead and check them out. I'll have them listed in my description box. Everything as far as undecorating for Christmas is honestly self-explanatory. However, this year, Jake and I, we did go out to Lowe's to get a Christmas tree storage bag. We no longer wanted to put our Christmas tree in its original box because for one, we want to be able to keep it for years and years to come. And whenever we had it in the box, there was a ton of spider webs, just a ton of different things all over the Christmas tree. And we didn't want that moving forward in the future. This year, instead of placing all of our personalized ornaments, only in a tub and just risking them getting broken we already knew that the kids were going to play with the ornaments on the christmas tree probably lose a couple of them so we just let them do them completely you guys and you know it's true we had a few sleeves that were missing a lot of ornaments and i was able to put a lot of our personalized ornaments in there and i was really happy with that don't get me wrong i did not let our children ruin the ornaments however Kids are going to be kids and they're going to mess with this Christmas tree as much as they can. So we did not go all out and make sure everything was perfect. And I found every single ornament and I put it all back on a tree whenever it happened. I just let things be because I knew the outcome will be better than, you know, choosing to get onto them in that moment or tell them that they can't do something, especially in a season where everything is supposed to be fun and high spirits. So here's a quick look at the holiday storage bag that we picked up from Lowe's. As I said, it was really easy to handle, you guys. It was easy for me, okay? I got it done so fast. The Christmas tree went in so smooth, you guys. Not only that, but even if we decide to get a bigger tree in the future, this storage bag holds up to a nine foot Christmas tree. And ours is only seven and a half foot. So we have a parent win today and I'm so happy.
to keep it nice and clean not freak out and cause a scene i try to hold it together keep it together not sure who i really am just be cute and super bland i try to hold it together keep it together been playing it down but i'm so getting tired now won't you meet Okay, you guys, so once I got the Christmas tree taken down and I was able to vacuum the floors, I felt so relieved and I felt so accomplished because for one, I pushed myself to go ahead and get that done because once I got that Christmas tree put up, your girl wanted to stop, okay? Because once I started to see all of that flock on me, my OCD hit an all time high and no, I am not just talking to you guys, I really do have OCD. And it hit an all time high that I had to push a little bit more and then after that I went upstairs, I took a shower, I went to sleep because I knew that once my stuff hit an all time high it would just go downhill from there. So I went to bed and I got up the next day and we just went ahead and kept the train going because we start to take down the rest of the Christmas decor in our living room. Baby put the record on, baby put the record on, hit it. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to talk over this part because London and I, we had a whole little moment whenever I was undecorating for Christmas. So London, she came to me, we were talking about some new things that she was gonna start. And I told her that we're gonna have a whole day dedicated to High School Musical so she knows what it's all about because y'all, London loves singing, dancing, any movies that have anything to do with that. She absolutely loves it. So I am so excited to be sharing with her one of my favorite childhood movies that she can just sit down and watch and we can just really relate to because London loves things like that. So whenever I told her, it just became a whole thing because I was really excited. Baby, put the record on, hit it. So right now I'm just going in with our regular speed cleaning routine in the bathroom. I did go ahead and remove Simon's litter box because I'm going to be spraying a lot of chemicals in there and I didn't want anything to hit the litter. I am looking into getting a litter box that is covered. Right now Simon just has a litter box from the Dollar Tree honestly because we moved in here and we got rid of his last litter box because of other things. However, we are going to be doing so much in this bathroom in the future that I'm really excited to be sharing with you guys. Right now, I can honestly say that I am the main person that uses this bathroom. I come in here whenever I'm getting ready in the mornings, whenever I'm washing my hands throughout the day. And I also come in here whenever I am trying to sit down and figure out a different style to do to my hair. So it honestly goes without saying that I spend a lot of my time in this bathroom just doing so many different things because we all know how long the day is whenever you have to do things to your hair. I don't wash my hair in here. I do that in the kitchen, but I still do and spend majority of my time in here whenever I'm doing those things. So in the future, I am looking at creating this space and turning it into like a luxury spa feel for myself and for London because we deserve that because we don't have much space in this apartment to really just be the women that we want to be. And I'm excited to be transforming this space so we can have that. Stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break in
in our kitchen the next day, things weren't honestly enough for me to come in here and try to do a speed clean and keep up with things. I did stop to go ahead and run the dishwasher and on the stove, we I had made chicken and dumplings. I shared that with you guys earlier in this video. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of this taken off the top of our fridge because we had so many snacks just thrown up here that I needed to get into the pantry. Now, I'm not gonna lie you guys, our pantry is a mess and I am excited to share that video with you guys. I did recently share a video of our pantry in our grocery haul just on our first time stocking up our apartment. We did get quite a bit, but right now we have made a lot of different changes. As you guys can see, I have been talking to you guys about adding our microwave to the pantry. However, we are on a standstill right now because we have been looking into our portable washer and dryer. And right now I don't know if I'm going to get a stackable side by side or an all in one. So right now I just want to go ahead and take the microwave out of the equation, get that put on top of the refrigerator. And we just plan to keep it there until we figure out the next best step. So whenever I was wiping down the stairs, Jaquan had ended up bringing Jay Nan from school, you guys, and he had saw that he had a hole in his jacket that we just got him for Christmas, his Fortnite jacket, you guys. So Jaquan was like, uh-uh, no, see, this is what we're not going to do. And I was like surprised, you know, I don't know why I walked in between them. I don't even know you guys. I was just cleaning just in my own world, but, but it's okay. We got through it and Jaquan and I, you know, we made up for it. It was all right. Watch me dancing in the colors, lightning, blowing up a thunder, wash it over me. We got everything we need, right? Watch me dancing in the colors, lightning, blowing up a thunder, wash it over me, yeah. We got everything we need, right? box that you guys see here actually used to be London's old toy box but we're now using it for shoes because London it takes up a lot of space in her room and it also takes up space in her closet and she can't have her dollhouses in there we didn't want to get rid of it I hate getting rid of any of my children things except if they absolutely do not need it or we have no purpose for it so I went ahead and moved this downstairs and I am eventually going to transform this as well and add some contact paper to it just to spice it up in the future if London gets a different room we will put it back into her room but this is what we're going to use it for for now and I am going to try to do something on the inside so we don't ruin the inside and whenever it is time to go back to her room she can still use it for her toys Everything we need right here Just 
So right above our steps, we have our old stand that we used to keep in our dining room. I was supposed to give it to my sister along with some other things, but she has recently changed her mind, which is completely okay because Jake and I were gonna be getting a storage unit so we can add all of our things to. So I'll be sharing that with you guys in the future because this will no longer be here. Moving into London's room, I am super excited because we are finally going to be touching up the paint on her walls. I am so excited because I have honestly been procrastinating when it comes to London walls. Anytime Jaquen tries to do it, I'm just like, oh no, let's do it in a little bit, let's do it in a little bit. Like we'll do it all at one time. But today we managed to get this done and it just felt so satisfying just to see those spots on the wall, they're gone now. I'm just so happy. So we were able to get that done and then I just went ahead and cleaned London room. About a few times a week, I will come upstairs just to help the kids clean and organize their rooms so they are not so overwhelmed. I do let them go throughout their rooms every day of the week or whenever they see fit to clean and organize, but sometimes whenever things get too out of hand, we just like to come in and just get things back in order. And then aside from that, they just keep up with everything on a daily basis. So sometimes whenever we come in here, it's all taken care of because they've done a good job at keeping everything clean. But sometimes we come in here because they just need a little help, a little pick me up to help them get through the rest of the week. And they don't have to feel like they have to clean every single day. I can give them some days off and just help them get some things done. I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. I did share a video recently on cleaning and organizing both the boys room, London room, and our bedroom. So if you guys did not see that video, I will make sure to have it linked down in my description box because I wanted to make sure I had that video for you guys so you can see bedroom dedicated cleaning motivation. And you also have some tips and tricks to take along with you as you clean and organize. So don't forget to check out that video. I'll have it linked down in my description box. It really does mean so much to me.
With our boys bed, we really wanted to take our time to pick out one that they could grow with and we can also move and have in any home that we move into in the future, no matter what happens. So we went ahead and picked out a day bed and I'm really excited to go ahead and get that and get it set up for them because I really do see the space opening up and brightening up even more than it already is. And then we can just open up the space so they can have more room to play. Here in our bedroom, I'm just gonna go in with our regular bedroom cleaning routine. I'm gonna make sure our bed gets made. Ever since we moved into this apartment, we haven't really been making our bed together in the mornings. We usually just get up, throw the cover over the pillows and just walk out. Or if Jake when is still asleep, he'll just do that whenever he gets up or I'll do the same whenever I get up in the mornings if we wake up at separate times. We really do want to get started with our routines again. So as we move forward with this year, I'm just hoping that we can just get things settled out and calm down so we can get started with our regular routine as a married couple because I feel like we really need that right now. We just need some time back to each other because in the mix of everything going on, I really feel like we kind of just lost touch and I'm ready to just get all of that back. So my husband and I, we have been discussing maybe getting a platform bed because he has absolutely fallen in love with this certain platform bed. So, and I'm not going to lie, you guys, I have too. The more we keep talking about it, the more I am truly falling in love with this bed. I am a person, I like to hold on to a lot of things in our bed that we have. This is the very first bed and end tables, you know, nightstands that we ever bought together in our relationship. So I didn't really want to let it go. So it took a lot for me to really agree to just say, okay, let's get a new bed. But I am going to be putting this bed frame and the nightstands and everything up for London whenever she moves into her big girl room. So it's not going to be a waste at all. And then we're going to be moving to a platform bed whenever the time comes. And we're probably going to add some floating shelves. We have a lot of good ideas for our bedroom. And I'm excited to be sharing that with you guys. As we get more comfortable with our apartment and we truly get all the things in here how we want it to be, I'm excited to be sharing all of our downsizing tips and tricks that we've learned. I will be sharing like a three month apartment update with you guys on just like behind the scenes and some things that I've learned since we moved into an apartment. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I'm probably going to be posting it on my vlog channel just to update you guys on all that's to come and all that has happened since we've been here in our apartment. It's been a long time since I've posted anything on my vlog channel. I've wanted to completely start over and just do different things on my vlog channel. And I will be sharing that whenever I post my first video. So if you guys are not subscribed to my vlog channel, make sure you head over right now. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos that I'm going to be sharing over there.
So while I was vacuuming, I wanted Jaden to go underneath their bed just to pull out any toys that didn't belong. My expectation for them is to only keep superheroes underneath their bed and also Legos. But sometimes, you know, things get thrown underneath there. And then whenever that happens, I just have Jaden go underneath their bed just to pull everything out. Kids have so much more energy than us adults. So I just go ahead and let them take the load off of me. When it comes to our room, I do keep a few things underneath our bed for storage, but I do not like a lot of things because I still like to put the vacuum underneath there so I can go ahead and make sure I can get what needs to be done and I don't have to flip the mattress all the time. I also don't like for things to look cluttered. If I feel like it looks too cluttered, it makes me feel like I'm messy. Even though it's clean, I don't know. If I just can't see through it, it bothers me and that's totally me like I shared with you guys earlier I do deal with things on my own but I just like to go ahead and just keep very minimal things under our underneath our bed so I can see everywhere Here in our bathroom upstairs, I honestly haven't tackled this in about a week. So today I was just like, you know what? We're gonna go in here, scrub this tub down whether you like it or not, sister. You're gonna get it done today. I have put the kids in the bathtub. Jaden took a shower. Simon was in the bathtub. London had like a spa night tonight. And then Jake went also took a shower. And your girl just wants to have a real good old nice bubble bath when she got done with this video tonight. So we went ahead, scrubbed the tub down, got it all clean and situated. And I was excited because we finally had a clean and fresh bathroom and I'm so excited to share with you guys I know I shared with you guys earlier that I was going to be creating like a luxury spa feel to the bathroom downstairs but I am also going to be doing the same thing to the bathroom upstairs instead of it being girly I'm going to make this gender neutral because we do have boys and Jaquin it's going to be geared more towards Jaquin but I do use this bathroom to take baths and showers so we're going to be spicing it up and I'm excited to share that video with you guys to clean our shower and our whole bathroom, I just went ahead and used Barkeeper's Friends for the shower in the tub and the toilet. And then around the area, I just went ahead and used Microban. I absolutely love using Microban in our bathroom because I love the smell of it. I don't know if anybody else can relate to this, but I found that smell y'all i can just sniff it i don't know i love to smell it so i kind of go a little overboard which you should not do this whenever you clean but i kind of just spray a little extra because i love the smell of it but that's what i'm using today and i just want to share the products
So once I was done cleaning upstairs and downstairs, I just wanted to quickly wipe everything down and then I wanted to quickly go over the floors so I can mop them. Tonight I was a little upset because I didn't get the chance to use my shark steam mop or the O cedar mop you guys I was so upset I don't have any more heads for them I have to officially replace them because they have moved to three places with us now and I cannot continue to use those so I wanted to go ahead and replace them so tonight I had to go back to the old style mop Jake went ahead and picked it up for me from Target and I was not happy to use it at first but I actually did end up liking it but I probably won't use this a lot in the future because let me tell you guys using the shark steam mop is just so much easier and I feel like it gets our floors so much cleaner between the shark and the o-cedar I am very happy but we do have this now and I might use it from time to time who knows When I moved into the kitchen, you guys, I couldn't take it anymore. I told you guys that I made some chicken and dumplings and I just had to stop what I was doing and I went ahead and prepped my little bowl of chicken and dumplings so that whenever I got done cleaning tonight, I could have a good old meal and I was really happy with it. So I warmed up my chicken and dumplings. I went ahead and put the rest of the chicken and dumplings in the fridge. Jake went clean the rest of the kitchen and we just continued to knock these floors out so we can be done.
Just till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase. So the blanket that you guys see in, in front of our back door that's on the floor, the reason why I did not move that is because it is there because it gets so cold downstairs in front of our back door. But we went ahead and kept that there because it gets so cold and that way we can kind of block that air, that cold air, and it won't get so cold downstairs. This is what my mama used to do when we were kids and it worked, so we just kept going. Whenever I was done mopping the bathroom floors upstairs and I moved downstairs, I just wanted to go ahead and get this mirror wiped down. Honestly, sometimes I forget to wipe this mirror down and I don't know why, but I do. So I wanted to go ahead and wipe this down and then after that, we were done. I did share some before and afters at the end of today's video, so make sure you guys stay tuned so you don't miss it. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and like it so I know to make more videos like this. Aside from that, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!